Hello and welcome back to the Livingston Career Mode and today we're kicking off with a game that's on Christmas Day 25th of, uh, 25th of December 2021 against Kilmarnock um, Now will Livingston be in the Premier League, uh, the Scottish Premiership sorry um, in 2021 we will have to wait and see Will Kilmarnock be in the Scottish Premiership in 2021? We'll have to wait and see. Um, starting off though, two two chances for Sibold. One going in the back of the net, one being a header hitting the crossbar. And then not too long later, Romano getting the second for us to go 2-0 up against Kilmarnock at half time. And well it's a strong start, very strong start and considering the kind of form we had been on for the past while uh, it's definitely a good thing, look at the state of this though hitting the post and the crossbar in the space of literal seconds um, yeah that was, that was I, I genuinely laughed at that actually uh, that was my initial reaction but what a ball this is and Navarro, I don't know why the goalkeeper run away but it gives Navarro um, basically a very easy goal and that would put us up to 3-0 in the 88th minute meaning there's absolutely zero chance whatsoever that Kilmarnock could come back and um, that is how the cookie crumbles and how the match will end we will win 3-0 against Kilmarnock um, very good performance from the lads um, now we'll move on to what is one of the biggest signings yet I'd say um, mainly just because he's a good centre back um, for the future of the club I don't, I mean he, I've only gave him a two year deal um, you know, uh, but he's he's a good player he's uh, 77 rated which will mean he's the highest rated centre back possibly uh, defender as well uh, got him on a pre-contract um, Next game would be up against Dundee and Jordan Gray actually scoring a penalty and then Toure getting a wee goal as well. Uh, I really wish this was more in depth. Gray getting a double. Um, I have to mention that Elvis gets injured at some point. But I don't know when it was. Like... I don't know, I just, I, I don't know he got injured at some point within this episode and uh, we're actually playing just after New Year's Day now as well, I think January 2022 um, but yeah he kind of disappears and I just don't really remember keeping track of that um, very good strike from Romano, very close to going in the back of the net, end up hitting the post um, Callum Morrison busting the pace and then Chantilly on the other side that pass man I can't help but think that pass was absolute perfection more or less I mean it was like just just the weight of it was absolutely fantastic and Chantilly getting another chance should be 2-0 need to be 2-0 um, just another good showing of why the old driven shot is pish uh, I thought this was a decent challenge to be honest on Gamboa but according to FIFA, it wasn't. I mean, none of the ch none of the challenges I tend to make ever end up being good challenges. If he passed that into Carl McGregor, though, by the way, definitely would have he well, surely he would have squared it, um, squared it up to being one each again, and then that probably would have changed the look of this entire game. Um, second half, I mean Celtic aren't exactly the easiest side, I mean they're, they're getting chances they're, 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 I think I've said this before uh, their team isn't as good as they are in real life in my opinion I don't think they have the likes of you know, Forrest, Sinclair Tierney um, Bruni's obviously on the down uh, I mean this is like 5 years into the gate, he'll probably be like in his mid 60s at this point um, who else? Um, who else is missing? They obviously don't have Dembele, they don't have Griffiths. Um, they do still have a boo. I'm pretty sure he's one of their better players. Um, and I'm not sure about defensively, I'm pretty sure they have Flitz, Simunovic and Ayer at the back. B 
but yeah, I don't think their team is as good as possible. And they've got like some goalkeeper called Sales, I think. Next game's up against Hamilton, though. And as you can see, um, pretty strong team playing up against Hamilton. Um, getting Navarro through. And uh, there's a very early chance for him. And he finishes it off uh, less than five minutes in. The thing is, right, Navarro hadn't scored for ages and then all of a sudden he's got two goals, like, I don't know, two goals in three games. I know it's not exactly the greatest form of the world, but, you know, it's definitely better than no goals in eight games or whatever it was. Um, I started getting a wee bit reckless here and I don't actually really know why. I, I think I just wanted the ball so that I could go and get another goal because, you know, I, I want to get that two goal cushion, as we all do. Um, the man will run and he gets the ball through to Bobby Burns who finishes it off and Bobby Burns has I think he's our top goal scorer so far this season at the moment um, whether that will change or not I'm not sure he could become the top goal scorer this season I think last year it was uh, Danny um, here's Kravinovic coming out and sweeping that ball he had a very good game this game Kravinovic um, although I don't really show it too much uh, I will tell you an interesting stat after this game um, for him personally that is and I get a wee bit more reckless here I'm pretty sure there's like a third yellow card in this one game um, yeah just becoming really reckless I think Romano him and somebody else got one Navarro another very nearly moment happened like three times in a row they are really frustrating uh, look at this for a ball and look at this for a fucking better save um, incredible um, positioning from Kravinovic done very well to get the save and then another like two seconds later he's, he's I mean he's definitely got potential um, in the game he does have potential because I, I thought this was a foul by the way that's why I kept this in for me that was hands down a foul um, but yeah, he's uh, he's an exciting prospect. So he's got what uh, eighty six to eighty nine potential, or eighty five to eighty nine potential, or something like that, um, which is good. And then that goal was offside, so had no worries. But we beat Hamilton, and this is the stat, right? Kravinovic has played three games in the in the league. And he has three clean sheets as well. I know it's not exactly the most incredible thing in the world, but you know, it's, it's something. Uh, Fernabachi come at us with uh, an offer of 8.7 million for um, Martinez. I did want to get rid of him because I feel like uh, he was just kind of wasting away. He's only one grand a week. But uh, we try to get as much as 10 million for him. They come back with 9.3 million and um, I decided I wanted to accept it because it just gives us money doesn't it? Um, for, if, for if I wanted to uh, get another player in or whatever or even for next season because it will actually go into a budget next season. So you know on the off chance that he might actually go unlike most of my other players like Oni's and stuff uh, he plays in this game. Uh, for the first time in a while, it uh, cuts inside, hits a shot, deflects back to him, and he gets the goal. And uh, what are the odds? What are the fucking chances of that? Eh? On his what is most likely going to be his last game, he scores and puts us up one 0 against Aberdeen. And um, the thing is, this was um, a tough one to really think about because. Fix, well the fixtures really, that is the main reason because we have Celtic twice this month, we've already played them once and I think that was at home and then we have them again in a couple of days after this game um, however that'll be next episode um, look at that fucking ball by the way Shinny, Graham Shinny and right, Anderson is playing at the moment Graham Shinny put in, put in a pretty Oh, okay, shot. But I feel like this is right at Anderson, and it needs to be saving that. Kravinovic just put in a p the, the performance of his life, basically. 
and then that was their only shot on target. So we drew the game, and nothing happened in the second half. The second half was pish. So there was nothing really to show you for that. But yeah, we yeah, we drew with them, but only thanks to Martinez, who we ended up getting seven million for in the end. Um, and uh, I'm pretty sure. Um, I'm thinking about. I'm mainly thinking about Glenn Middleton, to be honest. But yeah, next episode will be a game against Celtic. If you've enjoyed this episode, please leave a like, subscribe. Um, that's obviously the team sheet for the next game. And uh, yeah, I'll see you all next time.